Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, I have to apologise in advance to anyone who's uh, uh, who's on a Lenten fast because today I've got uh, some Easter eggs and I've got some wines. Actually, I lie when I say I've got some Easter eggs. Um, I've got um, I've got two Easter eggs and a dinosaur. I've got Rory the dinosaur. Actually, I lie when I say that because I've got one Easter egg, one dinosaur, and one egg that suffered in transit. Um, so, uh, but I've got a white chocolate egg, a milk chocolate dinosaur, and a dark chocolate egg. And um, they've been sent to me by Morrison's, and they've recommended that I try them, each of them, with um, three wines, all of them sweet. So um, I think first thing I'll do is uh, I'm going I'm to pour myself a decent slug of all the wines, and uh, go through wine by wine and uh, do those first, and then try them with the eggs. So hang on a moment. So the first one I've got is uh, Asti, uh, Le Montferrin Asti, um, and I don't think they've put a vintage on the label, uh, but the idea about Asti is you get it when it's young and fresh and frothy. It's this, I look at this wine, it's 7% alcohol, it's almost breakfast wine, and it's one of those where you, it, most wines don't actually smell of grapes. Sit your nose in there, and it is uh, unashamedly grapey, fresh, and Delicious, simple, frothy, £5.50 a bottle. It really is the sort of stuff that you, uh, perfect lunchtime fodder. Um, tasty wine, yeah, maybe it's uh, £5.50, I'm not gonna complain about. Uh, it's a little bit short, it's got that touch of slightly honeyed sweetness and all this grapey, frothy lushness. Next one down, um, also uh, a Moscato. Uh, but uh, the first one was the Moscato from Italy. This one is um, a uh, Torres from Spain, Floralis Moscatel Oro, Vino di Licor. And uh, I don't know if you can see my uh, the, the colour of uh, these two in comparison. Same grape, one's definitely a white wine, one's more a brown wine. Um, a Vino di Licor, or uh, a Van de Licor, as they call them in uh, uh, in France, is one where they've. Um, I think it's, it's a bit of a stretch to call it a wine. What they've done is they've um, crushed the grapes and haven't let them ferment, and then just added brandy, uh, aged it for a little bit, and this is what you end up with. Uh, and so this has got more of that grapey uh, edge that you had in, in the Moscato, but it's bigger, richer, headier, barley sugar character. So the first one's um, 7% alcohol, this one's twice as much, so 15% alcohol. So a bit more of a serious, uh, weighty beast. And yes, it's more on those toffee, barley, sugar. Um, mm, I really quite like that. Ever so slightly medicinal hint there. Um, what I like about it is it's not just sweet. Uh, there is this slightly floral perfume to it and uh, tasty wine. And the final one um, is, um, so we're in Portugal with this one, and it's uh, Morrison's own label uh, LVV Port from the uh, rather splendid 2011 vintage. And let's give this a, a quick sniff. Um, it smells juicy, rich, it smells like a wine, if you've ever had a chance to be in a winery uh, when, when they're, they're, they're making the, the new wine, this is what the winery smells like. Heady, lots of berries, a um, bit of violet perfume in there, and a touch of spice, and uh, let's taste it. And heady, rich, it's funny tasting it after the Moscatel. Um, I'm not sure what the difference is in sweetness. I think what you've got here is a lot more fruit concentration and some of those dark berry flavours. Bit of a backbone there, bit of breed, as they some people say, not me. Um, and uh, the sort of thing that has you thinking, ooh, I'd rather like to sit there with a rather, a rather large hunk of cheddar. But it's not gonna be a hunk of cheddar today. Uh, I'll just get these bottles out of the way. Um, because today it's, um, it's, as I say, it's eggs. So the first one, I'm gonna try a little bit of each of them uh, with, uh, with each of these, these wines and see how they fare. Uh, so the first one I'm going to do is the white chocolate one, which conveniently has collapsed of its own accord. Uh, it looks like it was a rather pretty colour at one point, but um, uh, sadly you're going to have to go and look on the Morrison's shelf rather than uh, work out uh, what, what, what it looked like from, from this video. So I'll have a quick bite. So this is the one they recommend having with the Asti. When you have sweet wine um, and sweet food, what it does is it dries the wine out a little bit, so um, you want a wine that's sweeter than 
what you've actually got in the uh, uh, in the food. Here, um, they're almost on the par with each other. It doesn't. It's not that the acid tastes like it's going to be dry, but there's quite a strong pungent vanilla character coming through in the egg. Maybe the acid gets a little bit lost. So I'm going to have another nibble and try it with the uh, with the floralis. And that's almost like a little bit too big, but uh, for me it's almost a better match. Um, because something of the um, vanilla character that's in the wine echoes the um, uh, the vanilla that, 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 that's in the egg. I'm gonna have another slur. Mm. Yeah, so I actually prefer that as a combo. Mm. Let's try it with the pork. And suddenly you've got a wine there that's just a bit too big for the egg. Um, and um, if, what, what, what happens is the, uh, that firm backbone I was talking about, you notice that more. It's, it's like you've got the egg sitting there going, I'm sweet and vanilla-y, and you've got the port sitting there going, yes, I'm big and fruity, but I'm a slightly stern. So, um, favourite combo of, uh, with those three was uh, the florala, the, can't speak, floralis. Honestly, this is the first time I've been, uh, I had a glass of anything today. Uh, actually, I don't know if you can see, I've got a, uh, remains of a black eye. Um, I um, I somehow managed to nut our Dyson vacuum cleaner the other day, uh, and I still don't know how I managed to do it. But um, uh, but again, that drink was not involved in that. So I'll just put my dark egg to one side now and uh, address uh, Rory, the milk chocolate dinosaur. Um, my family was slightly disappointed. I had the option of a dinosaur or a unicorn. And I went for a dinosaur, and um, opinion was divided. Some people were thinking, oh, I wish you'd gone for a dinosaur, uh, for a unicorn instead. But, but, yeah. Here we go, Rory. Sorry, it doesn't be done, Rory. Right, okay. Let's see. Oh dear, that looks a bit uh, macabre, doesn't it? Uh, but um, let's just try a little bit of the egg first. Quite nice chocolate, that. Um, I'm not normally a dark chocolate fan, but good milk chocolate. Um, well, it has its place, and um, what I like here is that it, it's not too sweet. Uh, it's got enough chocolatey flavour. It's not just re relying on um, sugar and vanilla to prop it up. So let's try it with the with the acid. Well, that's not bad actually. Um, in fact, I actually think I prefer that combo to um, having uh, uh, having the white egg with the with the acid. What seems to happen is that um, it, it, it's a big it's a bigger flavour of egg. Uh, but what it doesn't have um, that the white egg has is that edge of um, uh, to, uh, to slightly too much, uh, well not too much, but um, uh, a louder vanilla compound. And here, so here, it's looking good. So let's try a bit with floralis. Now that's interesting that because it seems to take away um, some of that um, citrus peel, barley sugar edge that uh, was what made it attractive to me uh, in, in the first place. And uh, it's not, it's not, I'd, I'd certainly very happily sit down and uh, have a small glass of that with a, with a large piece of the egg. But uh, to Morrison's, I would say that uh, I'd go for the, uh, for the Asti with the milk chocolate egg and the floral, well, I can't speak, the floralis um, with, the, um, uh, with, the, with the sweeter, slightly fortified Moscatel. Let's have another bite of chocolate and try the port. So interesting, yeah, it's the, what, what I noticed there is the, yes, the, lots of fruit still comes through, but, and again, it's that backbone. So um, uh, my favorite with the milk chocolate is, is the Asti. So one to the Asti, one to the Floralis so far, and one egg still to go. Um, so this is um, Morrison's The Best. All these eggs are, and all, well, the dinosaur or the remains of it, um, they're, they're four pounds each. So let's just give this a quick. Ow! That's quite, that's quite tough. Uh, I'm going to put the top back on this and do it from the do it from uh, the side. Sorry, egg. There we go. We got there. Actually, one of the first things I know notice is uh, it's a thinner egg than the um, than the milk chocolate one. You probably can't see it from there, but um, I'm expecting uh, finer flavours. I don't know. It's got a nice, um, almost like a. a, a yeah, the sky at night type of uh, pattern on the outside. So I'm going to have a bite of the egg first. Now I'm just going to have a look on the bottom of here or wherever it is for uh, cocoa solids. It's not, it doesn't feel like it's going to be a massive amount of cocoa solids. 
Um, oh, where are you? Fifty-four percent. Yeah. Um, the, sometimes you have them where you're getting up to like 75, 80, 90 percent and you get a much drier, more bitter character coming through from the chocolate. Here it's got the touch of sweetness and um, yeah, dark, brooding, uh, a little bit of um, almost like a um, Black Forest Gato type of character to it. So, have another little bit and then I'm going to try it with the Asti. One of those situations where I call it a standoff. The chocolate's here, the wine's here, and they're uh, not quite talking at each other, but um, they're not communicating, they're not making beautiful music together. It's an okay combo, um, but um, yes, it feels like they're, they're being polite rather than uh, um, yeah, anything slightly more um, personal and up close. Let's try another little bit of chocolate and then try the floralis. Now, as with the milk chocolate, what seems to happen here um, is that it dampens down some of those more aromatic components in the wine, but the combination works better. Um, it, you're, you're left with the, the lushness of the wine, and it almost dries out some of the, the, the sweetness that's, that's in the chocolate. I, I think that worked quite pretty well, actually. I'm not supposed to speak with my mouth, full, am I? Anyway, I am doing that. Huh. Oh, final one with the port. That works nicely. Um, I was talking about like having that, that flavour in the chocolate of that uh, slight kirsch, that uh, cooked cherry, and it almost seems to accentuate that type of character that's in the wine. And uh, I don't notice the firmness of the wine as much. It's like there's a, it, it's almost as if the chocolate itself has a little bit of firmness to it. And the two, they sit in there in the corner and have quite a serious conversation, but uh, uh, after a few, uh, after a few drinks, maybe a few uh, little bits of egg and a few little sips of port, uh, they're starting bashing each other on the back and uh, uh, telling uh, slightly risque jokes. Um, so um, each it's, it was strange. Each of these wines I found went went well uh, with one of the uh, one of the eggs, but uh, it wasn't quite the way that um, maybe Morrison's thought it would be. So uh, uh, if you're going on your white chocolate. Um, I thought the Floralis was, was, was the star there. On your um, milk chocolate, uh, the Asti, um, very good. Um, oh, just the prices, um, well, you, you'll, uh, you'll see them on the screen, but Floralis, eight pounds for a half litre. Asti is 5.50 for a full bottle. Um, and uh, then the last one, the Port, which is my favorite with the, uh, the dark chocolate. I think it's um, 11 pounds 50 or something for a, um, for a bottle. And, um, Jolly nice it is too. It's probably my favourite of the three wines, but all of them have to, uh, something to say for themselves. All of the eggs um, will uh, will be put to a good good cause. I've got uh, two mini vultures. Actually, they're not too mini round the corner. Two vultures round the corner who are saying, "What are you going to do with this tasting?" I don't think they're interested in the wines. I think they're interested in the eggs. So they will be getting some crumbs, um, and uh, maybe I might go and have a. Actually, I think after that, I, I, a glass of the Asti is just what I need. Something, a light, fresh pick-me-up. So, um, uh, for those of you who are on Lent, uh, you've only got to go till Sunday, only a few days now. Uh, so, I hope you enjoy these when you get round to them. The rest of you, hope you can enjoy them already. And um, I'll see you soon.